How we doing, everybody? My name is Jesse, and I am your race mechanic. I'm here to tell you today about the tire pressure. Uh, this day and age in Ironman, uh, we're seeing a, a lot larger diameter tires. Uh, going back maybe 10 years or more, uh, even way, way back, you know, sew up, uh, tubular type, you know, one piece construction, uh, tube and tire may have been 21, maybe down to 18, uh, C, 18 millimeter width for like velodrome. Uh, in the last 10 years, we've seen 23s and 25s become really popular and even larger, uh, 28s. And that's what we're working on right here. I've got a zip wheel with a Maxxis high road, and this is a 700 by 28, which is a lot larger. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see for most athletes out there is, is they're going way too high on pressure. And it's really hard to get rid of that stigma of, and that, you know, the history. We all grew up, you know, the hard as a rock, make them, you know, pump up those tires, right? And, uh, uh, but there's science to back it now. And what you really want to do and, and think about this is, um, you have aerodynamics, you have gravity, and in Ironman, majority of the courses are going to be flat. You're going to be up to speed. You're really not fighting gravity as much as you're fighting the wind resistance. And that's where those aerodynamics become such a big factor. So your bike, you want your bike to go in a straight line. Okay. You and your bike are one and you want that to go as smooth and straight as possible. Uh, when your tires are too high in pressure, the reaction of that is that your every little imperfection and bump on the cement, the road is, is causing your bike to vibrate and shake, uh, which is not what you want. Okay. So with, with, especially with the larger tires, right? You want to drop your PSI down quite a bit. In some cases, you could be as low as like 65 these days, especially on a 28. If you're a light rider, uh, you could really drop down quite a bit. And here's the balance, okay? If you drop too low, we have what's called the surface patch, right? And that's where the, the compression of your body weight pushes down on the tire and you have a contact area. The bigger the contact area, the more resistance you're going to get from that. And, uh, the harder the tire is, the smaller the contact patch, but the more your bike vibrates. So we want the medium between there. We want the tire to be able to soak up those imperfections. And we also, uh, want the contact patch, uh, small enough. So the tire needs to support your weight, but also be some suspension. Think about the mountain bike concept. We have suspension on the bike. And as you're riding down this crazy, you know, bumpy hill, the suspension is taking up the difference there. So what you want your tires to do in this sense is to be that shock absorber, okay? So uh, look up the specs on the tire manufacturer. If you're running tubeless, it's likely you can go with a lower PSI. If you're running a tube, you might add 5 to 10 PSI. And then um, if you're at Ironman, there should be mechanics around the people you can maybe just talk to. But I would say really the best thing to do is just do some of your own research you know, up on YouTube. Uh, and if you happen to see me at the race, come talk to me. I'll be happy to give you tips and tricks on, uh, you know, making your race go super smooth. Uh, again, my name's Jesse. I'm your mechanic. And, uh, today we're here at uh, Galveston, Texas, Ironman 70.3. Um, that's all I got for today. See you next time.